Hi everyone, it's Yannix here. When I started my first business, I was super excited. I didn't mind working endless hours because that was my dream job. I was 20 years old and I started it with a little savings and some borrowed money to get things moving. I was building website and creating content about video games. My team was reviewing the latest games on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. And we were also doing game news coverage and game tournaments. The business idea was to grow the audience and later sell ad space on the website once we would have a reasonable amount of visitors. Unfortunately, it never really took off, but I learned a lot about the business, starting a company, contacting potential clients, building a team and growing the audience. But the main lesson I learned was self-awareness. While I was working on the business, I totally lost the grasp of the reality. I was literally 24-7 on autopilot, doing different things like team meetings, reviewing the content, planning new features on website, contacting suppliers, etc. It was crazy, but I liked it. But the problem was that the business wasn't going anywhere after two years, but I still kept going in the same pace as before, without even assessing the real situation and adjusting the direction to improve it. I had totally lost any sense of conscious awareness and I was operating in my dream world where I believed if I just kept going, something would eventually change. It took another two and a half years for me to realize that this is going nowhere and I have to stop what I'm doing and assess the situation for real. That was a moment when I realized that I've been operating without being consciously aware. I was in the flow for over four years, but the problem was that I was going in a wrong direction. Conscious awareness describes a mental state of being fully aware of the events and situation in one's life. Being self-aware helps you to adjust as the situations and circumstances change. As you could see in my example, when I was not consciously aware, I just kept going in a wrong direction. So let's take a look at 5 strategies of how to become more self-aware in life and how to find ourselves on the right track. Number 1. Change your environment. You have probably noticed this as well, when you walk in a new place or a new room, you pay attention to everything. You see that there is a table with a chairs and TV screen on the wall. You observe how big the room is and what color the walls are. However, once you've been multiple times in the same room, all these things doesn't matter because you become familiar with them. This is because we get used to things and we pay less and less attention to them. Eventually, we become consciously unaware. Here are some ways you can use environment to become more consciously aware. A. Travel. Yes, I'm sure you will love this one. Traveling will expose you to new places and therefore raise your self-awareness. And you don't need to travel across the world to have new experiences. You can just jump in a bus and go to the nearby city to be in a different environment. Of course, if you have an opportunity to travel around the world, then I would definitely recommend it from my personal experience. B. Attend new events. You don't have to randomly just attend events, but you're probably interested in something. Let's say that you like music and you want to develop your career path in this direction. You can go to the website meetup.com and join local meetup groups. C. Meet new people. Talk with like-minded people who have similar interests. Just talking with people will expose you to new ideas and new possibilities. Number two, audit your time. We can use a little bit of time management lessons here to help us raise the self-awareness. Self-awareness comes from knowing what exactly you're doing at any given moment. And to achieve this, we can use time logging technique. As you go through your day, record all your activities. You start in the morning with your morning routine and breakfast and then all the way through till the evening. Then in the evening, you can review your log and see if your actions have been in line with your intentions that you had in the morning. Sometimes I'm like, okay, today I will invest a lot of time in my app development to move it forward. I'll test the application, provide the feedback and prepare new documentation. Then in the evening, when I review my time log, I'll be surprised to see that I've barely done anything to move app development forward. And most of my time has gone to deal with emergencies from my team, client queries and other things that should have been scheduled to deal with later. But because I keep my time log, at least I can see where the time has gone. 
and it also instantly raises my self-awareness that I have to shift my focus on the things that I want to achieve. Number three, get a coach. As much as all of us want to do the right thing, more often than not, we seem to fail. When I was working on my first business, I truly believed that it will eventually succeed and at no point I had any doubts about it. But because I was operating on full autopilot, I could not see the direction I was going. I think if I would have a coach on my side, someone who could see what I was doing, then he would be able to look at it from a side. And it's always easier to look at the things from the distance without being emotionally involved in the situation. The coach would have been able to raise my self-awareness and I would have been able to adjust my direction much earlier in my business journey. So get someone who can be your accountability coach. You can join online program or get an individual coach. But the money you invest in coaching is the money that you invest in yourself. You can also get a friend to be your accountability partner. But from my experience, it lasts for a very short period of time. But maybe you get lucky and it works for you. So give it a try. Number four, reading. When you read a book, for example, you have a chance to experience other person's thought process. This in turn makes your mind to question itself. Let's say that you read a book about how to eat healthy and author suggests that the best breakfast is classic oatmeal with some fruits in it, either banana or apple. While you're reading this, you probably instantly thought about what you're currently having for breakfast and evaluating if you should start your morning with oatmeal as well. The same applies to all other materials that you read and that is why it is a great strategy for raising your self-awareness. Number five, meditation. I guess this doesn't require an in-depth explanation and it is well known, but in the meantime, it is not widely used strategy. I'll be honest with you guys and I have to say that my current daily and weekly routine does not include meditation. I have however done it in the past. I have recently started to experiment with my energy management and I'm planning to include the meditation in my daily schedule. When I was practicing meditation, I did enjoy guided meditations like body scans and others, as that would give me something to follow. Without them, my mind would be just jumping from one place to another. There are hundreds of mobile applications that you can use if you want to give a meditation a try. In case you know some other great strategies that can be used to raise self-awareness, be sure you leave them in comments below. If you want to manage your time better, have more structure in your life and achieve your goals, make sure you check out my time planning application. You can set goals and track progress towards them, create time blocks and build your own daily structure, as well as log your time and measure your performance. Best of all, it's totally free, so press here to check it out right now. I'm working on new videos every day. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.